Okay, uh, the tech preview this week is Code Academy and JS Fiddle. You can see it in the URL here. This probably looks familiar from the video because this is where I was typing stuff in. Uh, normally it looks like this. Basically this is kind of a sandbox to play around with JavaScript and um, different plugins for the JavaScript language. That's what these are. These are different libraries and frameworks. Uh, my and, and the list is really long. What this offers is a place to learn to write code and especially do web programming without having to set up a server somewhere and push your web pages to it. This uh, is actually used a lot in the industry if you know you're wanting to test out a new script or whatever and you don't want to um, have to mess with a production server or something, you can write it on JS Fiddle and see if it works. I spent a lot of time here when I was working on my thesis because it used a lot of uh, JavaScript. So, when, and I had to kind of learn JavaScript because I hadn't really used it before. And this was a, a good place for that. So as you become more proficient and more knowledgeable with JavaScript, this is a great place to go. Couple other resources, there. this is Code Academy. This is similar to what Khan Academy offers, except it's focused entirely on writing uh, code, on learning different types of programming. And they offer jQuery, JavaScript, PHP, Python, and Ruby. Um, I highly recommend all three of these. Python is fun. It's a little bit different. Um, this is a great place to go to learn to code. Essentially, it gives you a similar setup to... Khan Academy, it gives you a place to write code, and this is where your code will come out. And it gives you instructions and hints. This is really powerful and a really easy way to learn JavaScript and other programming languages. Something else, and I'll put this in the summary for the week, there's W3Schools. This is a really good place to learn different things about coding uh, for XML, SQL, JavaScript, HTML. This is very, very, very good stuff. Um, I've learned a lot from this. It, it goes from really beginner to like you've never seen code before to kind of close to intermediate. Like so you've been writing code for a while and you need to know a few things. Like I end up here a lot because I will have forgotten how to do something and need to go uh, find a refresher. This is a great place for that. The other place that I think is very powerful and I will put this in the notes as well. It's tizag.com. Tizag. Uh, this has a lot of really good stuff for web programming, like different kinds of scripting and database stuff. This is really, really handy. We're going to come back to this later uh, when we talk about databases next week. Um, these are really good instructions and they break things down and they give really good examples of how to do things. Something else that's uh, probably a good language to pick up in addition to JavaScript is PHP because it, well, we'll talk about that later. Tizag has a lot of good tutorials, including stuff on JavaScript. One thing that's really useful about W3Schools is it has this try it yourself feature where it gives you code here and then uh, the ability to run it right here. So you can change this to um, something else, submit your code and it'll show up here. This is a really good way to learn through experimentation. So between W3Schools, Tizag, Code Academy, JS Fiddle, and Khan Academy, those are some very powerful tools to teach yourself how to code. It doesn't substitute, say, a formal classroom setting, but if, you know, over the winter break, if you get bored and you want to look at stuff, this is a good way to go. And that and the lesson that we've had this week, between those, it will be a, a, a good kind of getting your feet wet uh, to programming. So uh, I hope you all pursue it because I, you've demonstrated that you all clearly have the capacity and the ability. So if it's something you're interested in, I strongly encourage you to look into it because it's not that hard to go from something as simple as this to an actual website. I mean, when I first got started, I was writing in pure HTML, which is one of the easiest. It's not even considered a programming language. It's a scripting language. Um, you know, I was writing this and I went from that to, you know, writing full software products. So just something to look into.